Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as a hunter in this video because there's been a couple of people who wanted to see this. Um, there's a couple of things I'm going to say going back into this. Uh, the monster AI isn't the greatest, which is why the hunter videos are a lot rarer than the monster ones. Um, in a lot of cases, it's a case of babysitting the monster out of stage one. Uh, because it pretends it's stage three at all, th all uh, instances of the game, all stages of the game. So we'll have to see how it goes. We will go as Hyde. Um, he is my bread and butter for uh, Hunter. We'll just do damage resistance. Uh, we are hunting a behemoth though, so there's going to be a lot of health at play here. So it might survive the encounter uh, in the first stage if we get one. We could. Uh, we could lose it, but we'll we'll see. But yeah, hunter gameplay can be a bit more difficult to record, so you know that's why I don't do it. Um, basically, just go for the monster because the monsters are the set piece. Get paid to burn monsters. Couldn't keep me away from this place. No, I mean the war, mutagen war. Why'd you sign up? Ah, that. I don't know. I was getting banged up for this and that. Nothing heavy. Figured it was either sign up for the war or start doing real bird. Bird? Yeah, bird. Bird lion. Prison time. Hi, what the hell are you talking about? You ought to get your King Lear's checked out. Okay. Uh, I won't do whatever that is. <laughs> well, there's a monster. Uh, if you are American and you don't actually know what that is, that is Cockney Rhyme in slang. Uh, something we have here in Britain. Uh, King Lear's is also who. Rhyming slang for ears, you know, it's that sort of thing. Uh, bird lion prison times, uh, the other one he's just explained, obviously. Uh, he was over here. I've completely forgot what I was going on about before you know we had the law there, so that conversation shall be left in the ether. Um, but here we go, here's the hunter gameplay. You get a very nice degree of law right at the beginning as well, uh, depending on who's on your team as well. Uh, this is one of the more amazing parts of the game because there are easily over 100 200 lines of dialogue depending on what combination of hunters you're using um, and they all try and explain you know what's going on in the world and that's where the game's uh, law system came in it was beautifully uh, done that's dead he's in here as we can hear there he is The monster was there. That's fine. Please allow me to shoot. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> There's one there. Plants everywhere. I did not see where the man went, unfortunately. Uh, those are the old birds. This is what I was talking about at the beginning, we have actually lost it. <laughs> ah, here we go. Let's take a buff. I don't actually know what the equivalent of this is for Hunters. Oh, battery and clip size, that's actually really good. We're gonna have more bullets, we're gonna have more flame juice. Clear these reavers out. There he is. There. See it. I missed a ledge, that's fine. Please allow me to get up. It's gonna go this way now, right? Yeah, there he is. We need uh, Crow to be over here though to uh, dome him. Legacy Hunters uh, only have the Trapper to dome rather than everybody. We might get him here though while he's fighting this Doom Beetle. Here we go. Get out of the way of the Fisher. Oh, 
So he broke through his armour, so he's going to be taking real damage now. But as I did say in the lobby, we're not going to go too hard into this, because obviously, you know, I do like to show off the game in its uh, entirety, where I can. So we've got into half health already. He is going to get slimmed down, though. Test the revive. My boy is still still. That's fine. Fuck, I didn't revive him in time. That's fine. So, as you can see, <laughs> um, going down to less than a quarter of your HP in the first engage areas is uh, quite poor play for the uh, the monster. But he is going to grab stage 2, I think. Yeah, he is. He's behind this building. Shit. It's timed. It's fine. Should be right here. Yeah, there he is. He's going to be bigger now because he's reached stage 2. Get rid of this because this can actually shit. Uh, it can actually insta kill you. Ability bonus. We will take that. So that's going to be the shield that's got a cooldown re uh, reduction now. I'm going to go for the cut off because I think he's coming around here. We're going to immediately shield up here because I've just realised I've gone in without a medic. That's not good. I think Slim's almost here. That's fine. Oh shit, he's pinned. Why did you let go? He was trying to free Crow, but it's... Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's the wall. Let's get out of the way. Uh, so all in all, that was probably a solid encounter. He has got a strike on me. And a couple of others, I think. Slim, Buc uh, Bucket hasn't got a strike. Crow is dead, so he'll have a strike. Uh, but we have managed to do quite a lot of damage to him. <laughs> little lines, my friends. Little lines that deliver personality and characters. It's fucking brimming with it. This game. It puts so much effort into the character development that it's just it's spoon fed to you in tiny little pieces that it adds up for the atmosphere. I swear games do not put this much effort into the level of like character development and you know atmosphere and shit there he is. Uh than this game did. I do love me some character development slash immersion. We are quite close. Crow's fucking miles away for some reason. I don't know why he spawned all the way over there. Shit. I did not want him to actually come back. <laughs> I was just going for the harass. Stay near Slim to try and get the heal maximised. Even now my HP here because I'm going to... Yeah, we'll shield that. Let's get out of that corner. probably going to get slimmed down, we'll try and punish that, but it's, I oh know we do because we've got stasis on it, nice. I 
need to be very careful. He says as he jumps into the lava bomb. This might be Jeej. I need to gas bomb him. That's probably going to be it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> nice. Then we got to stage two. Um, I do like to show up stage three monster because obviously they're fucking massive from the owner perspective. But as far as hunter games go, that was actually quite healthy, honestly. I hate to speak of the game like that because I love it to bits. But it's just with the, with the hunter side of things, it's very fifty fifty whether you get a decent game out of it or not. And obviously with the schedule that I have between working the day job and all that sort of thing, it's quite hard to reliably. Uh, you know, record videos for a daily schedule of uh, Evolve, so that's why I don't do it. But yeah, there's one for you. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will hopefully see you on the next one. Bye.